Welcome everybody. In this video, we'll go over how to test your RAM to make sure it is functioning correctly. And why is that important? Well, if your RAM does not function cor correctly, it can lead to small errors or very large errors. Some of the small errors include uh, causing erratic behavior with software applications that can mysteriously fail. Another small error is maybe corruption to a few files, so you lose those files on your hard disk. And a big, big uh, problem or a big issue that could arise is you could, uh, memory errors can cause the loss of the entire contents of your hard drive. And so that's why it's important to make sure your memory is functioning correctly and to check that on a regular basis. All right, so how can we do that? Well, the first thing we're gonna do is we need to download uh, Memtest86. It's a free software. So I'm gonna do that now. Uh, this is the website we'll be using. It's in the description below that you can find it there. All right, so let's download this file. There we go. Let's open the downloads folder. There it is. We're gonna extract the file, right click on it, extract all, extract it in the downloads folder. So extract. And there it is. So this is the extracted file. I'm going to delete the zip file. And you're going to have to have a USB plugged in your computer. Uh, so once you plug in a USB, uh, you can open this folder and then open the image USB by double clicking on it. Right, so now we're going to select the USB drive that is in here. Make sure it's formatted. Uh, so if it's not, you can just go to your USB drive. Uh, it's, in this case, it's the E drive. Right click on it, click format. And it's going to tell you this is a 7.42 gigs uh, drive. We want to do an F8, FAT32 default. So just choose these settings, quick format start. Just a prompt that is going to delete all the data from the USB drive, that's fine. Format complete. Okay, so now we know our USB is clean. So select the USB and then on prompt two, we'll select uh, write image to USB drive. And then uh, we're going to click write. And we're going to click yes. Final warning, the contents of the selected drives will be replaced. Continuing will cause destruction to the data and possibly loss of capacity. Continue, we'll say yes. Uh, it took a few minutes, it's okay. All right, we're ready, we can exit. And now we can restart our computer and change our BIOS settings so we boot from the USB. So now I'm gonna restart the computer and while I'm doing that, while it's restarting, I'm gonna click the delete key for my motherboard. An MSI motherboard is a delete key. If you have another manufacturer motherboard, you need to Google which key you need to hit, hit to enter the BIOS. All right, so keep, keep hitting the delete key. Settings. And then I'm gonna click boot. And then we're gonna select which option Option one for the boot, we're gonna change that to our USB floppy, or no, sorry, USB key, which is the editor USB flash drive I have. So I'm gonna click on that one. And I'm gonna exit, click F10. And it's asking me save configuration and exit. So I'm changing essentially from booting from the hard disk to booting from the uh, flash drive. Click yes. Here we go. And to boot in there. Cool. All right, so this has some nice graphics interface here. It's easy to use. You can use your uh, just mouse to select configure. I'm gonna go here. And then we have multiple selections here on the right, on the left. We have system information. Looking at your system, test selection. To to that, this is the all the test is gonna run. It's gonna run uh, 13 tests in this case. Case uh, the DMA is experimental test 14, so I'm not gonna select that. Address range uh, we have uh, essentially what is gonna go from lower limit zero all the way to the upper limit. All the addresses, uh, it's a very long number. And then CPU 
selection, we're gonna single CPU number zero. We're gonna select these, we're, we're, the asterisk shows us what's the rest. Select this, so it's parallel, all CPUs will be running. And when we're ready to establish, we, we click the start test. Uh, we can just take a look at for that. This is a benchmark test that you can run. Uh, we can do that after we're done with this test. And then uh, we go to settings. Um, this is going to be potentially English resolution. And then this here is additional pro features. Uh, so we have all of this here. All right, uh, actually let's do the benchmark real quick. It should be a very quick test. I'm gonna click start. I'm gonna benchmark. And there it is, it's finished. And then let's see view previous results. There it is. So it's going at, you know, this is the memory speed, at uh, different step sizes, uh, all the way to eight kilobytes, and uh, it's more step sizes as well. All right, so that's the benchmark. Now I'm gonna click, I'll come to the test, click start, and what it's gonna do is it's gonna start running the first test here, which is the. Uh, um, then it goes to test two and it keeps doing that. It's going to take several hours. So I'm not going to wait here. I'm just going to come back after it's completed and then we'll take a look at the results. And what we're looking for is, you know, right now we're on pass one of four. It's going to run this four times and we want to have zero error errors. All right. So let's let it run and then we'll be back after. Oh right, yeah. So the test is not done, but I just wanted to show you up close with the what we're seeing here as the test is being executed, you see the uh, uh, our Intel Core i9 14 gen processor. We're looking at here the uh, megahertz and temperature, the L1 cache, the L2 cache, L3 cache, uh, the memory for our uh, uh, RAM sticks, about 64 gigabytes. Uh, this is 21.6 gigabytes per second. And uh, the RAM configuration is essentially DDR5, um, 5600 uh, megahertz. And then uh, we have two channels, so two RAM sticks installed. And this is the Corsair sticks, and some more information there. And CPU, there's 32 uh, CPUs found, the state, the CPUs that are active. And then this is the time. How long has it been going on since we started the test? We started the test seven minutes and 40 seconds ago. And we're on the first out of four passes. And so far we have zero errors. All right. So we'll continue later. All right. So we're on... Test number three, it's almost finished. And we're on test 13, hammer test, hammering rolls, verifying patterns, so on. Uh, and it's been about two hours and 46 minutes. Uh, yeah, so it does take quite a long, a long time, but so far zero errors. All right, so this is the last pass, pass number four, and we're 91% complete with the pass, 93% complete with the test 13 here, the hammer test. And uh, there's, like, if, like I said before, there's zero errors so far. It's about to end. There we go. It passed and it took about three hours and 59 minutes. Uh, press any key to display summary. So there it is. Uh, like I said, it took about three hours and 59 minutes to complete. CPU temperatures, min, max, and average are shown here. The RAM temperatures, um, test completed 48 out of 48, 100%. Test passed 100%. And yeah, everything looks good. So the memory looks good on the system. Okay, it's just a summary of the zero errors. Save the HTML report to uh, memtest86 report. Yeah, why not? It's very good. Okay, now that the test is complete, we're gonna exit. And we're gonna 
restart and go into BIOS. Pressing the delete key again for the MSI motherboard. Okay, now that we're in the MSI motherboard, we're gonna switch to boot priority again. So we're gonna go to settings and uh, boot. And then here we're gonna go to boot option one. We're gonna switch it back to the hard disk. So we're gonna choose hard disk, the one that has the Windows boot manager on it. All right, there we go. So now the number one boot priority is the hard disk. And just so you know, in order for you to do this, you need to, you know, up here you have uh, easy mode. So if you click on that, you will go on easy mode. Make sure you go on advanced mode. So I'll click on that again to go on advanced mode. That's where the settings is. And this is where the boot is. Okay, so, all right. Uh, now we're gonna press F10. And with that, it's gonna ask us, you know, do you wanna save your configurations and exit? Essentially, what we've changed is we've changed the boot option one from USB key to a hard disk. We're gonna say yes. All right, now it's gonna reboot and we're gonna go into Windows. All right, now that we're booted back into Windows, uh, we can see that the USB drive that we used for this uh, mem test uh, is split into two drives. And so we need to reformat it using the mem test 86 software. In order to do that, we are going to open again under the memtest folder. We're going to go in there, reopen the em image USB, say yes. And then here we want to select the drive that has the memtest 86 information on it, which is this one. Be careful not to erase the information on another drive. Okay, so we select the drive that has the information. And then here we're going to see reformat USB. And then uh, in step three, in step four, we're gonna say format, and saying us you have chosen reformat the following USB drive, a data USB so and so, the 7.41 gigs. Is this correct? We're gonna say yes. And final check, yes. And now it's gonna format it. And it's gonna take a little time. All right. Uh, not now. All right, it's been formatted, and now we're going to go back and take a look at the uh, D, and it's just a single. Oops, not that one. This one is a USB drive again, back to normal, and it should be for eight, uh, seven gigabytes. Great gigabytes. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do subscribe to the channel and uh, push that like button. All right, till next time.